Um, I'm very excited to be here because uh, we actually, I presented to an uh, audience of consumers stepping for the first time in the US. We have launched in Israel, uh, but we haven't launched it in the US yet. So you'll be the first to hear about it. Now, what are visionings? So we started with ourselves, the founders, being really tired of uh, missing things that we like. So our vision is to connect people <coughs> to their favorite businesses, organizations, and brands, but in a way that is effortless and noiseless, which is very complicated with the amount of data that we have today. Um, so how we keep up today, we either like pages on Facebook, or follow things on Twitter, or sign up for emails. But here's the problem. If we like something on Facebook, Facebook decides what we get to see. If we follow things on Twitter, Twitter's filtering algorithms decide what we need to see. And emails, our Outlook or whatever client we use, or Gmail, decide what goes to trash, what goes to, sorry, not trash, but junk, uh, junk email, what is being filtered out, and what is being uh, brought to us, uh, to our folks. So we wanted to create a platform that gives control to businesses and organizations and the consumers to decide what they want to get. Um, the second problem is that really our only way today to get the information that we need is mobile apps. So if every small business or organization will, will have a mobile app, our phone will literally explode. We will not install all of them altogether. So I wanted to solve these two problems. So keeping people up to date and then making it really mobile friendly. So how did we do that? So we created an app, as many startups do today. <clears throat> so remember that, effortless and without noise. So we created an app where you can find any business and organization, and any business's organization's profile is like their own mobile app. So let me show it to you. So this is my new home screen. These are my current businesses and organizations. When I open one of them, and for example, if I live in Tucson, Arizona, let me just give it a second because I'm 14, I get their own mini app, which they can customize without coding and even their marketing or uh, operations department can do that, where they can show me the contents uh, that, that, that they would usually have on their website, but now it's mobile friendly. We know that many websites are mobile friends. It's really hard to consume it from mobile devices. So now I can consume their content from mobile device, as well as sign up or subscribe for specific interests. So if it's a city of Tucson, I might be interested only in recreation activities. And then I want to see what their recreation department has to offer. Or if it's a favorite brand of mine, I can sign up for deals only. I don't want to want to know if they have a new collection, I just want to know where they have deals. And for example, if I like a hard house, which is a, a small underwear brand, and I get a deal, I want to buy it right now. I don't want to go to their website, it's not mobile brand yet, then move to my computer and do all that. I just want to buy it. So you can do all that from within Stepping. So that's one part of Stepping. The second part is Explore. So there are two pieces to staying up to date. It's either subscribing and getting very personalized updates, or um, I want to know what I can do during this weekend with my friends and family. So here, and when we will launch, you will see many more categories. Um, you can see events around you and specials. If you like to volunteer, you can see nonprofits and volunteering opportunities. And it's all organized by distance. So um, when you open it up, um, you can see events from different places around you, and the version that actually will be released, you will be able to see either everything around you or from your favorite businesses and organizations. So finding what to do from your favorite businesses and organizations makes becomes really easy. And then obviously the last piece to that, when you get an update, it's like having a, an instant messaging conversation with a business. So when you get an update, it's actually in a form of an instant message. Um, it can have a text, a link, a picture, and then businesses can add action, call to action buttons to it. So if it's again, the brand that I like sent me a discount, I can do one click and it will open their store that is already in step and I can do a purchase. 
That's step in. So we help you to stay up to date in a very personal way, without effort and without noise, with your favorite businesses, organizations, and friends. And then when you step to date, you can complete the action that that business offers you, as well as five things around you uh, that are of your interest. Thank you. Thanks, Celia. Now we'll kick off the Q&A. The business model? Awesome. Uh, so actually customers, yeah, okay, so what is the business model? So um, actually our business customers uh, ask that question every time. So uh, there is the other side to that app. These are the businesses. Uh, so uh, businesses have a management portal as well as <coughs> management part of the app. And they are paying for two things. If they want to send messages to personalized groups, interests that they created, they will pay for it. And basically, they are paying today to MailChimp or other mailing platforms. And uh, they get, what, 20 to 30% read rate in a great scenario. We deliver all their messages to all the subscribe customers. And uh, from our test so far, we get 80% read rate, which is by far more than uh, any other platform today. The second thing, if it's a store, if it's a brand, uh, and they have actions that require uh, money transactions, like the show what you saw. So as every e-commerce uh, website or every e-commerce mobile app, we get percentage of that, uh, of that purchase. What are your three core features? So, three core features are personalization, the interest that you've seen. It's actually, uh, some of them are created manually by the businesses. Some of them are result of uh, language analytics of updates that are already provided by Facebook, Twitter, and other APIs that you can pull in. So we create them automatically, so you can get sign up for deals from brands uh, without brands even being actively on Stepin, and you will get only deals from them. So personalization, updates, and uh, explore of uh, interesting things around you. Go ahead. Um, it's a three-part question. Um, one, how many businesses do you have listed currently? Second, how many active customers do you have? And third, what is the, uh, the dollar figure in terms of, say, daily sales or monthly the transaction value that happens on your platform today? Okay. And these are all public numbers, right? <laughs> so all of these are not really public numbers, but we can obviously talk about them. So um, we launched. Right, no worries. So we launched. We launched in Israel two months ago with a set of beta customers <coughs> to test our best verticals uh, to work with. Um, so right now we have about sixty businesses that are actively on the platform. Um, out of them, the numbers that we prefer to focus on at this point is fine-tuning how people get and read the messages. So as I said, for the businesses that are actively on the platform, we get 80% read rate on the messages. So kind of businesses that are actively on the platform are uh, private education. So after our classes, your kids go to after our classes place, you want to get these updates, but you want to get only specific information. So all that... Uh, that is covered. So about, yes, about 60 businesses, um, number of users, we are at about 2,500. Um, Non-marketing budget at all. It's all through B2B2C, all businesses bringing in their users. Um, the moment we will launch here, we will start marketing campaign to bring in consumers and getting the value of things around you and, and following. What was the third part? The dollar value of the transaction. Right. Happening. So we don't charge money at this point. We are kind of 100% uh, discount. Uh, the price level that we uh, summarized with all the businesses we're working with, we're talking about uh, $49 a month uh, that provides them the mini mobile app, which is which they can customize and with all the tricks that they can send links and people can, can open their app directly and all. All the cool stuff that you can do. Uh, and then um, for messaging, our rule of thumb is 50% of uh, email, like 50% of the price of mail. Yes. 
So depending on the number of users that are uh, stepped in into your business and number of messages you send to users, that will be what you will get. Awesome. Thanks, Elia.